These are candlesticks in a bowl that had been in my grandmother's dining room forever. She worked for a family in Westchester County for many years in Cross River, New York. When they moved west, they left a lot of valuables, so they became part of our family. So that was a nice way for us to get things that I don't think our family could have afforded otherwise. And do you have an idea maybe when exactly that was? The gentleman became ill and they moved out west in the early 1920s. So it's at least predates that is my assumption, but they became part of our family around that time. Well, what they have in common is that they are gold iridescent glass. Okay. Uh, these were made by uh, Tiffany Studios, okay. which was founded by Louis Comfort Tiffany. Both candlesticks are signed. They can be used two ways. Sometimes they're used as candlesticks. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they're used as bases to candle lamps. They uh -huh. came in two sizes. Uh, this is the larger size. They're not drilled, so they were not meant to be candle lamps. What's interesting is that they were shown together as though they were together, but they didn't come out of the same place. Oh, really? This actually was made by the Austrian company Lotz. This particular kind of glass was called Astrea, and it's spelled A-S-T-R-A-E-A. -A -A. That way, at least if I'm mispronouncing it, someone will recognize what I'm saying <laughs> All right. there. What is particularly interesting is the part about that your grandmother had worked for the family mm -hmm. because as these things fell out of favor a lot of times the the wealthy families who could afford these in the first place would either put them in the trash or they often gave them to their domestic help so when you had told me that I said ah this is the this is the story right. because already in the 1920s even though Tiffany Studios was still in business it was already falling out of fashion ah. now what came along with it was the piece of loads and what's interesting is they were made at the same time okay. you know they were approximately circa 1900 circa 1905 okay. so it makes sense that they would have gone together well what I do think is it was a really great gift oh, okay. for being a really great employee. Yes. <laughs> and I would put a value on these, a retail value. The candlesticks, because they're the larger size, eight hundred to a thousand dollars. Okay. And actually the piece of loads about a thousand to fifteen hundred. Oh, how exciting. <laughs> I had no idea. I guess they need to be a little bit more prominently placed in my house. <laughs>